Welcome to the Abbey Business Stadium for today's clash between Gloucester City and Redditch United. The teams are coming out now. Gloucester City trying to recover from a 2-1 loss at Solihull. Indeed, I think I think today's going to be um, a lot tougher, giving that Redditch true with um, Telford on on, on on Saturday. I think I, I think it's going to be a tough encounter. It's going to be a battle. It's, a, it's an early six pointer for for the boys, and I think it's important that we um, dig in after after Saturday's um, disappointing performance. What do you think of the changes made today then, Penno? We've got a new winger on show today, Lee Archer, yeah, former Lee, Bristol Rovers player. Yeah, Lee Archer, over 200 appearances for Bristol Rovers and also um, experience at Yeovil Town. Um, apparently hasn't played since 2000, but, you know, he's a pers he's personal fitness instructor, so he's going to be in shape. And let's give him a chance. I mean, Ryan O'Hara, unfortunately, hasn't shone this season, but, you know, let's see if this guy can, can take on some, de some defenders and put some decent balls in. Give our, give our strikers some decent service. A healthy crowd inside the Abbey Business Stadium. It's a lovely bank holiday Monday, and we're hoping for a good football display by Gloucester City. Green puts into the box. Simons is there, but it just misses his head, and it's cleared by Redditch and headed out. Webb spins to the ball, and a counter attack opportunity for Redditch now. Here comes the number 10, but it's to the left wing. But Tumbling gets in, an easy tackle there, and it's out for a Redditch throw in. Line up for a long throw here. Redditch loading the box with players, but it's away by Hamblin, up easy towards header. Simons. But it's easy gathered by the Redditch number four. Out to the right fullback, Craig Reed. Plays it into the box. Early opportunity for Redditch, but it's missed by their number 10, Dexter Ravenhill. Who scored on? He scored against Corby Town in a 3-2 loss. It's in front of him to run into. He opts for the long ball over the top to Bryant. He gets there first. Bryant, the number nine for Gloucester City, down the left wing. Archer's asking for it to be crossed into the box. Nice early ball to Tamblin, but unfortunately can't reach him. And it's out for another Redditch throw-in. To say, I mean, we're going to be short on confidence after four losses in the opening five games. We've got to think back to that game against Ilkeston where we dominated throughout. Really got to try and that, find that form again as Kevin Sawyer picks up the ball to Ollie Barnes. Paranello is well forward here on this left hand side. Simon's asking for it up front and it's a long ball towards Simon's looking for the flick on. He gets flick on to Bryant and here's Tom Webb with an early chance. Squares it to Tamlin and it's a goal! goal! Great goal by Gloucester City. It's Mike Tamlin. Unselfish play by Tom Webb and Mitchell Bryant. Either player could have shot there Fantastic. but they squared to Tamblin and he's pulling in the back of the net it's 1-0 Gloucester City throwing into the box but Ollie Barnes deals with it well commanding start by Barnes at centre back I thought there was a push on the back on, on, on Webb there Barnes starting in place of Mark Richards today Craig Reed with the ball into the box looking for Smith it's well dealt with by Hamblin but it comes out now for Redditch number four looking to take an early shot but he can he's well harried out of it by Gloucester players it's a long boring spot, but Kev Sawyer's going to deal with that easy. It goes over the bar, in fact. Very well marshalled by the Gloucester City defence there. Tried to find a space to get a shot in. Um, just um, harried and marshalled him, and had to, had to come back. Great defending by the Gloucester City boys there. So we're looking for Simons, and he does, down the right-hand side of the box. This ball into the box. Mullins is there, but it's just flicked over his head by the Redditch defender, and it comes all the way back to Barnes. A left-back checks inside to Mike Green. Green with the long ball. Just one man up there. Mullings the is up there, but it's cleared by Redditch. And here comes Lewis Hamilton down the right-hand side looking for a break. And he's fouled by Webb there. Poor challenge by Webb, and the referee spots that easily. Redditch playing with two ups there, which is a positive formation from an away team. It's gone up to one of those, Matt Smith, who loses out in the header to Hamlin. It comes back to number eight, Thomas Warmer. It's well gathered by Kev Sawyer. Tidy things up Gloss It's a new signing, Lee Archer on the left. Long ball up towards Mitchell Bryant, the former Reading striker. Appealing for a push there on Andrew Jones, the Redditch captain, but Mitchell Bryant's won it well. Plays it back to Archer. First time ball towards Mike Simons. Good control. But he's close down well by Kevin Spencer. Yeah, Bryant's gonna get there. Jones trying to close them down, but Bryant's showing some good skill into the box but it's dealt with by Spencer only as far as Tamlin might try a shot here but into the box for Archer 
Archer towards the back post. Tumbling's over again, but it's headed out by Sean Timmins for a Gloucester City corner. Another nice positive move by Gloucester City there. Didn't panic when um, didn't panic when he got closed down by the man, but brought the ball back out. A good ball in, good ball in by Archer, and obviously, obviously a, a, a corner for City. Let's see where we where we can go from here. Gloucester City shooting towards the home fans in this first half. We're finding their voice. Here's Parinello. About to take the corner for Gloucester City, former Western Superman player. Towards Tom Webb at the back post, but it's too far for him. Looking for the out ball. Mike Green's there offering himself. He's gone all the way back to Barnes. Parinello's staying on the right, so it comes out here to the left to Mike Green. Ball up towards Simons. A flick on by Hamblin, was it? And the Redditch keeper easily deals with that one, but Hamblin won it well, staying up there from the back after perhaps the corner. Going, perhaps going wide anyway, but still, again, a good positive ball into the box, a, a good header, and making the Redditch defence and goalkeeper work. But Webb's there, and he wins it well, but... Oh, he fouls. Just clipped the back of his ankles. The ball just came away from Webb there, and he clipped the ankles, as you say, by off Hamilton. Hamilton showing good cornering and turning ability. Yes, yes indeed. Indeed, he, uh, he, he, he went round the hairpin that is, uh, that is uh, Tom Webb quite well there, didn't he? But just clipped the outer chicane of Tom Webb's left boot. Yeah, yeah, indeed. It's Craig Reed looking to load this ball into the box. Matt Smith there, as is Ravenhill. Up towards Matt Smith, but... Hamlin deals with it well, and Simons comes away with the ball for Gloucester City now. Break perhaps on. Tamlin's got space on the right-hand side, and Archer tries to pick him out. That's a great ball to Tamlin on the right wing now. Up against the number four, Jordan Fitzpatrick. Checks back inside to Mike Green. Into the box towards Bryant. But he was being shadowed there by the number five for Redditch, who's Kevin Spencer. And he's going to take this corner now for Gloucester City. Shooting towards the Carlsberg stand. Mullins is in there, as is Hamblin. Bryant at the back post. It's towards Simons, but it's punched clear by the goalkeeper. Tumbling back in, and it's cleared off the post by Redditch United. And it's a free kick here to Gloucester City in their own half. Again, another positive move. The ball came back out. First time snapshot. I didn't quite see who hit the ball, but, but cleared off the line by the Redditch defender. Positive. I think it was Tamlin. I think Tamlin got another shot on goal there. Tamlin's had a fantastic start to this game, hasn't he? Archer to take the free kick, and he's shot it, but it's easily into the hands of Ambrusic in the Redditch goal. Tamlin's had a fantastic start to the, had a fantastic start to the game today, and is certainly certainly earning his starting place within within the Gloucester City eleven. We'll see. Looking much better on the wings today. Ball's clear by Brusick. That's Raven here with the clearance, and it's cleared by Ollie Barnes there for a Redditch United corner. A rare attack by Redditch there, and it's going to be the member of Golgo Bordello to take the corner. Andre Agassi, yes. Thomas Warmer is his actual name. But Warmer has been a bit cold so far. Oh, oh, oh. Not bad, eh? Yes, not bad, not bad. You're getting used to this commentary, Lark. Warmer with the corner. Headed away well by Archer towards Simons, but it's not Reed clearing up. Warmer to Reed. Cross into box. That's a great cross, and it's met by the head of Ravenhill. But it Archer and Hamblin all standing over this free kick. Perhaps they've worked something out in training for this one. Spating about where the, the ball's to be taken from. I think they've decided it's there. It's back about 15 yards there, it looks like. The Redditch will not quite back 10 yards. The referee brings them back onto the edge of the penalty box. Hamblin looks like he's going to square it perhaps to Mullings here. He does. Mullings takes the shot and is well saved by Ambrusic. Ravenhill with the corner into the box. Is that Jones underneath it? But it's gone high over the bar, and the the danger is snuffed out. Bryant there as well, as well as Ollie Barnes come up for this one. It's towards Barnes, but he misses it, and oh, Mullings misses a it as well. Great opportunity. Lays it, tries to lay it back to Fitzpatrick, but Dan Mullings was there. As the first half comes to a close, it's Gloucester City one, Redditch United nil.